here and welcome to the February edition 2011 of Sustain the Industry, my second episode. First of all, I have two purchases this month that I, I, t I did this month so far and it's only the, the 20th. And first of all, well actually this should be first. First of all, that's my first purchase I bought on the 15th, which everyone was crazy gaga about this movie having it out, and that's Summer Wars, and I got that on Blu-ray. But, I can't seem to find, <laughs> I, I know it sounds like an excuse, but I can't find the receipt for it. It was in the bag, in the Best Buy bag or somewhere, and I found the, bo the bag, but not the receipt. So I did get it, but I don't find that it's right to show you it. Um, eh, I what I what I will say is Best Buy sucks. Even though I did get it for like nineteen ninety nine, which is twenty two ninety. To something with tax, um, they suck. You know why? Because they use cheap stickers for labels. And when I attempted to get the sticker off the slip cover for Summer Wars, it conveniently ruined the box. Thanks a lot, Best Buy. I just had it for like two days. <sighs> so frustrating. Anyway, it's been two minutes, so that's beside the point. Yeah, I'll say I have it, but I can't. But I won't show it. Um, I did watch it already. Awesome. It lived up to everyone's boasts. I got so excited. I did find it so cheap. Um, my purchase that I can show you because I actually have the receipt for it because I just bought it today, about like two hours ago, maybe. An hour? Um, is I got this in Hastings. You won't believe the price I got it for. Phantom. Requiem for the Phantom Part 2. The limited edition, folks. The hardcover one. The collector's one. And guess which price I got it for? $26.99. Why? Because it was used. Which means somewhere in between when Phantom came out someone returned it. Presumably paying full price for it. I don't know. We're near to full price. But their loss is my game. And uh, I do have the receipt for that because like I said I just got it. And it's uh, here it is. I'm getting better at this. $26.99 for Phantom Part 1 Limited Edition. L-E. That's what that means. Plus taxes, $29.22, and what is it I say? $37.99. All right. Yeah, the cheapest I'd seen it, and I wasn't going to buy it because I was like, oh, my God, I didn't have a job. I shouldn't be buying this. But, come on, only a full pass is up something that originally cost $50. Um, and I don't consider myself to be a fool. So, that is my... Um, those are my purchases for this month. Well, I guess my purchase was I didn't show you Summer Wars. Because I can't find the receipt. I keep forgetting that I'm doing sustained industry each month from now on, so I keep forgetting where I put the damn receipts. Um, so, yeah, that's what I got. And if I, if I do get uh, more, um, I guess I'll, if I do get another one for next um Sorry. For next month, I mean within this month, I will leave it for March's edition of Sustain the Industry, which I will hold off doing until the end of March this time. Um, but I was excited about doing this. So, so yeah, I will leave the, the total and everything in the description. Um, and... Uh, 
Oh, first of all, and the link, because I originally bought, that's right, I originally bought um, Summer Wars online, so I can actually show you the link of where I got it. It was originally $24.99 at Best Buy. I bought it online and picked it up at the store, which meant I saved like five bucks, right? So I will pitch, um, this is a link to Phantom, but I will put the link for Summer Wars, so you can get it for that price too. So, see ya.